The Old Testament reading this morning comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verses 1 through 7. Let us hear the word of the Lord. But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, He who formed you, O Israel, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flames shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Cush and Seba in exchange for you. Because you are precious in my eyes and honored, and I love you, I give man in return for you, peoples in exchange for your life. Fear not, for I am with you. I will bring you offspring from the east and from the west. I will gather you. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from afar, my daughters from the end of the earth, everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory whom I formed and made. May God bless the reading of his word. So we come to this time for prayer this morning. We want to continue to pray that the gospel would go forth in our region and that we'd be faithful stewards of that gift of life to share it with others around us. We want to continue to pray for expectant moms, uh, for Haley due next month, and for Amanda due in July, and Corey's uh, uh, niece, Kayla, due in September. Uh, we want to continue to pray for the Hillsborough County Nursing Home, uh, that uh, they would have God's healing grace upon them to encourage and bless them. We praise the Lord today that 13 staff and 26 residents have recovered uh, from COVID, and we're praising God for that. We want to continue to pray for Keystone Center in Lemonster, as well as Pheasant Wood in Peterborough, uh, that they would be safe as well. Uh, I truly give thanks to the Lord for the many words of kindness and encouragement that you've shared with me over this past week upon the passing of my mom. And uh, we had a blessed time of uh, laying her to rest yesterday morning. And so we give praise to the Lord for your kindness and grace towards us. We also want to praise the Lord for the launching of our Right Now Media program. And we're praising the Lord for the opportunity for you to grow uh, in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We want to pray for Ron uh, Philibot as he has a cardiologist follow-up on Thursday uh, as they continue to diagnose uh, some of the heart issues that he's being dealing with. Also for Janine as she goes to the doctor on Tuesday and an MRI uh, needed to help discover what's causing the pain and there's a potential that it's pancreatitis. Uh, we also want to pray for her sister Lorraine uh, who is having cancer surgery uh, tomorrow, June 1st. We will praise the Lord that Corey's niece Grace was found safely, and uh, we trust that the, there'd be greater understanding and insight as to what uh, her needs are and what the Lord can do for her. We also want to praise uh, the Lord along with Cynthia. She gives praise that her parents celebrated their 50th anniversary this past week, and we praise the Lord for those opportunities. We also want to pray for Rana's uncle Bobby, who's back in the hospital with a, an infection that the doctors are puzzled over. And so we want to pray for wisdom for those doctors. So let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we rejoice in you and all that you're doing. We thank you for the grace that you bestow upon us each and every day. And we thank you for the hope that we have in Jesus Christ. And we look forward to his return. Encourage us, Father, as we wait Use us as instruments of your grace in the world in which we live. And may your word, the gospel, be proclaimed to our world, and that you would bring healing to our land and to our world, Father, concerning this coronavirus. We ask, Lord, that you would bless and provide perfectly for all those who are suffering. Protect those who are on the front lines, who are, are helping those patients that are, are suffering. We pray that you'd protect them. We pray for our expected moms, for Haley, for Amanda, and for Kayla, that you would bless them with healthy children and that they would be able to come to know Christ as their Lord and Savior. We thank you for the, the good report that 13 staff and 26 residents have recovered at the Hillsborough County Home. We rejoice in that, Father, but we continue to pray for that staff and those residents that you'd give them strength and that your healing touch would be upon them 
that you would encourage them this day and bring great joy to their hearts. We pray for the Keystone Center and Pheasant Wood as well. We ask that you protect that staff and those uh, residents as well, and that you would uh, just anoint them with your healing grace. I'm so grateful to you, Father, for the love and the care that I've received uh, from many who have expressed their, their kindness and their concern and condolence upon my mother's death. We pray that you would continue to bless those hearts who have blessed me. We also praise you this morning, Father, for the launch of our Right Now Media. And we thank you for the opportunity that our congregation will have to grow in Christ. And we pray that these tools will be effective uh, to encourage hearts to be faithful to you. We pray for Ron as he prepares for his cardiologist appointment on Thursday. Give the doctors wisdom as they follow up with him. We pray for Janine for a discovery concerning the pain she's been experiencing, and we pray that this visit to the doctor would be successful in diagnosing that. And we pray for Lorraine as she has this cancer surgery tomorrow, and we pray that you would anoint her with your healing touch and bring peace and comfort to her heart. We praise you that Corey's niece, Grace, was found safely. We thank you for the grace you've extended to her, Lord, and we re rejoice in what you're going to do in her life. We praise you for Cynthia's parents as they celebrated their 50th this past week, and we pray that you'd bless and encourage them. We also pray for Rana's Uncle Bobby, and we ask that you would just anoint him with your peace and comfort, and I pray especially, Lord, that you would give the doctors wisdom to discern what is causing this infection. And so we rejoice and give thanks to you this day, and thank you for this time of prayer. We pray this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. As we are working through uh, Second Peter together, we're still in chapter 1, and our scripture reading is verses 3 uh, through 11. Let us hear the word of the Lord. His divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness, through, no through the knowledge of him who called us to his own glory and excellence, by which he has granted to us his precious and very great promises, so that through them you may become partakers of the divine nature, having escaped from the corruption that is in the world because of sinful desire. For this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue, and virtue with knowledge, and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with steadfastness, and steadfastness with godliness, and godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love. For if these qualities are yours and are increasing, they keep you from being ineffective and unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. For whoever lacks these qualities is so nearsighted that he is blind, having forgotten that he was cleansed from his former sins. Therefore, brothers, be all the more diligent to confirm your calling and election. For if you practice these qualities, you will never fail. Fall. For in this way, there will be richly provided for you an entrance into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. May God bless the reading of his word. 